but before going to heap sort I think you should know some basic terminologies that would be used in heap sort. One of that thing is array how the binary tree is represented using array. So first of all I am going to discuss this thing and after that we are going we are going to switch to heap sort in next video fine. It is also known as sequential representation of a binary tree. Now I, I hope you everybody know what is a binary tree. See binary it means two. So node can have at most two children either zero, one or two children not three children at most two children fine. Now let us suppose this is a binary tree fine and how this now this in pictorial representation it this this is a pictorial representation of a tree. Fine. On, on whiteboard I can draw this thing like this but while writing a program or in your PC you cannot draw this thing you have to represent it using some another data structure fine so two methods are there one is this tree can be represented using array that is sequential representation and second method is this tree can also be represented using linked, linked list fine that is known as dynamic uh, node representation fine now see in array also somewhere uh, somewhere you find out that when you are representing this tree in an array this binary tree in an array then index would be started from 0 and somewhere you find out that in array the index would be starting from 1. So I am going to uh, discuss with you both the cases this is case 1 and this is case 2 fine. Now how in this array we can represent this tree see node of this tree is a b c d up to i fine simple simple thing is we are going to start from root and we are going to fill this array level by level and from left to right from this level 0th level first of all this level then this level then this level and then this level how see I am going to consider this case 1 I am going to start this array from 0th index fine so first of all I am going to start with a this level then this level and from left to right not from C B B and C. So here B and C the next level from left to right D E F G the next level H and I this is how we are going to represent this. Now see we are in this by uh, looking at this tree you can say that C is child of A or you can say A is parent of B and C. But if this is an array and I am saying that you, you do not have this representation and you have this thing and I am going to uh, ask you which node is child of which one, which node is parent of which one. Obviously by looking at this thing you cannot tell right. So there should be some formula, there should be some relation to know which node is parent of which one, which node is child of which node. So now what are these formulas? Okay, I am going to take suppose this is ith index, i is 1, here i is 2, here i is 3 like this. Okay, and in this representation you can say that a is at index 0, it is at 1, it is at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 like this. Fine. So, in this case how to find out that relation, how to represent this parent child relation. So, the formula is C. If if a node is at ith index fine ith index means may be at 0 1 2 3 and up to 8 any node you can say a of i this suppose array name is i am not taking a i am taking suppose uh, m so m of i a node is at m of i location now its left child would be at which location so for that thing left child would be at which location 2 into i plus 1 and right child would be and right child would be at 2 into i plus 2 2 and to find out parent if suppose at ith index at 
the, you know i th i is 6 i have g and i have to find out parent of this g using this formula you can find out left child and right child how to find out parent so parent would be parent would be at which location i minus 1 divided by 2 and we are going to take floor value and if you are taking this case suppose you are going to start index from 1 i am going to write a b c here d here e here f g h and i for this case to represent the relation between parent and child which one is child of which one which one is parent of which node the formula would be so in case 2 in this case fine if node is at index ith index suppose in this area and the name of array is suppose n so node is at n of i location so left left child would be So left child of that node which is at ith index in this case would be at which position at 2 into i and right child would be 2 into i plus 1 and same parent would be parent would be at i divided by 2 and floor value so in the both the cases these are the formulas to find out left child right child and parent when you are going to represent you are when you are not having this pictorial representation you are having this array representation now you can verify these formulas see let us take in this case case 1 this is case 1 we have i value is 4 fine and here we have e Okay, and you want to find out suppose parent of this E. How to find out? Parent would be at i minus 1 divided by 2. 4 minus 1 divided by 2 and floor value that is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 floor value. 3 by 2 means 1.5 and if you are taking floor value then it would be 1. Now go to the index 1. Here we have B. So you can say B is parent of E. Here you can check B is parent of E. Now suppose see B is don't E is not having any left child or right child. And if you are to find out the left and right child, now I is 4, left child would be at 2 into 4 plus 1. That is 8 plus 1, that is 9, but we are not having any 9th index. And right child would be 2i plus 2, that is at 10th. So no 10th index we have. Fine. So, you can say that E is not having any left child or right child. You can easily check E is not having any left child or right child. In this case, if I am saying, in this case, suppose I is uh, this one, D. Okay. So, I am taking I is equal to 4 and at fourth we have D. Now, find out the left and right child of this D. This would be 2 into i, 2 into 4 that is 8th. So, 8th at 8th index we have h. So, left child of this d is h, left child of this d is h. You can easily check from this tree, fine. What about right child? 8 plus 1 that is at 9th. At 9th we have i, so here we have right child that is i. So, if you do not follow these formulas and and if you have a tree and if you fill the array starting from root level by level and from left to right like this a b c and like this i have filled here then automatically these formulas would be held no need to check for these formulas fine but if you have this array and you are supposed to find out the relation about what is parent who is parent who is child and like this then using that these formulas you can find out so now let us take this example i have this tree I have just changed a little bit in previous one we have two child of D in this we have two child of this E 
so sometimes many students make a mistake that yeah simply just write down from the root a level by level and from left to right d e f g and then h and i same representation but that is not correct representation fine the very important point the very important point in this case is the tree the the binary tree which is given you have to make that binary tree a complete binary tree that is very important fine now what is a complete binary tree see in complete binary tree all the levels all the levels all the levels of a tree are completely filled except except possibly the last level fine first condition is all the levels are completely filled except maybe the last level is not completely filled now if last last level is not completely filled then here also one condition is there so at the last level all the nodes are you know as left as possible fine so this is not a complete binary tree all the levels are completely filled this is the last level all the levels above this level are completely filled fine every node is having two child so this is completely filled one condition is true but at the last level see these these child should be as left as possible left means from this side from this side i am we are going to fill we are going to write the child so to make it a complete binary tree we are going to insert empty node one is here and one is here fine and here h and i now this is a complete binary tree fine now how to represent this in array simply from root a a b c d e f g d e f g but here here we have two blank child so we cannot directly put h and i you have to you have to keep the space blank two space one for this and one for this now you can write down h and i here you can write down h and i and this would be 9th and 10th same in this case we cannot write h and i at this place after g two uh, uh, child are blank so you should keep these two space after g one for this one one for this one and after this you can write down h and i index would be at 10th and 11th if you represent this tree like this then only these formulas would be would be held fine let us suppose you are not taking this space free and you have represented this h here and i here rather than here and here now find out for h which is the parent according to this representation now h is at index i is equal to 7 and we are going to start from 0 so i am going to uh, going to consider this case parent node would be at i minus 1 divided by 2 7 minus 1 divided by 2 and floor value means 6 by 2 that is 3 so go to the third index here we have d now according to this representation the parent of h is d but here the parent of h is e not d and this th these formulas are not going to hold in this case why so because you are not keeping these two free space so if you write down if you write down h and i at this place then find out the parent of h now h is at index 9th now parent would be 9 minus 1 that is 8 divided by 2 that is fourth index now go to the fourth index here we have e here we have e now h is uh, the parent of h is e that is right representation now let us take another example see now if you have this example is this a complete binary tree first of all check yes it is a complete binary tree why because all the this is the last level but all the level except this last level is completely filled that condition is true and the nodes and the all the keys in the last level is left as left as possible so we have only one key and which is as left most side to so, say simply representation would be after a b c e f g you can simply write down here h here you can simply write down what h no need to do this one the space and the array would be from 0 to 7 here also you can simply write down 
h the array would be from 1 to 8. Now let us take this example, I have only this binary tree a, b and c. Now first step is how to make it complete binary tree, you cannot simply write down a, b and c, fine in array that would be wrong that in this that case this formulas would not be held fine now to complete it a binary uh, sorry complete binary tree here would be one blank child and at this level also we have this blank and this blank right because see this is the last level this is the last level so except last level this level should be completely filled so now this level is completely filled now second condition is at last level the, the child would be the node would be as left as possible fine. So see this one child is there at the as uh, at the last node and this is at the rightmost position. So obviously you have to fill all the left positions. So here also we will insert a blank node. So this is now a complete binary tree and how to represent this in an array. I am just going to take case 1 from 0th index. 0, we are going to start from root a, then next level from uh, this uh, left side, this is blank, fine, next we have b, next level we have blank, we have blank, we have blank and last we have c, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so the size of this array is 7. Although only uh, 3 nodes are there but the size would be 7, so wastage of space is there in this representation, fine. And if you have one more child here like D, now what you will do? Then you will have to make it a complete binary tree like this only. So you have to insert blank node blank blank here also blank here also blank here also blank and to the left also blank. Now it is complete binary tree. Now how to represent this one, obviously we are going to start from here A then blank then B then blank 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 then C and after C 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 blanks would be there, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and after that you will insert D, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14, so see how many vestiges of space is there in array representation. So here you can say if a skewed left or right skewed binary tree is there then uh, in array representation the vestige of space is there. So this is how you can represent a binary tree using array fine. In next video I am going to discuss with you uh, max heap, min heap and after that we are going to discuss heap sort. So till then bye bye take care.